In 1863, on this day, the Battle of Gettysburg ended, marking an important turning point in the history of the American Civil War, which was essentially a four-year-long battle between the Northern American states loyal to the Union and Southern states that had seceded from the Union. The Confederate States of America wanted to uphold slavery. The Union's victory in the Gettysburg Battle ended the possibility of a peace deal with the Confederates, which would have otherwise led to two American nations. This bloody battle that boosted Union morale led to the Gettysburg Address, in which President Abraham Lincoln redefined the Civil War as a struggle for freedom and democracy. Over July 3rd and 4th in 1976, Israeli commandos rescued hostages held by airplane hijackers in Entebbe in Uganda. A French jet airliner was hijacked after stopping at Athens by members of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine and the Red Army faction, a West German radical leftist group, and flown to Entebbe in Uganda. The hijackers freed those of the 258 passengers who did not appear to be Israeli or Jewish and held the rest hostage for the release of 53 imprisoned militants. Israeli forces rushed to Uganda on a rescue mission, saving all except three hostages and losing one soldier, while all seven militants were killed. The dead soldier was incumbent Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's brother, Yonatan Netanyahu. Seven years ago, on this day, Egypt's military ousted the first democratically elected president, Mohamed Morsi. Morsi was chosen as the Islamist Muslim Brotherhood movement's presidential candidate in 2012. He secured a thin victory and saw a turbulent one-year rule marked by anti-government protests against the concentration of power in the hands of the Muslim Brotherhood and failure to deliver on economic revival and social justice. A military coup deposed him on July 3, 2013, headed by the Armed Forces Chief and now President Abdul Fattah al-Sisi. 